Okay, sir, give me the update. How, uh, how are we feeling today? Um, very tense. Uh, I'm, I constantly feel tense. Uh, I'm not a very flexible person. Um, ever since I've seen you last time, two and a half years ago, uh, the adjustment really held. I think for at least three months, I could not not sit straight. Okay. <laughs> but then at some point, you know, uh, it's something you have to do every couple of months. Um, I was at home a lot. I started uh, my bachelor's in uh, political science. Uh, so I, you know, I sit a lot. Um, I still do my best. You know, I, I train four to five days a week, calisthenics. Um, I also use uh, weight vests. About eight months ago, I, I, I do IDF reserve duty every year. Okay. So I did a month long, um, uh, uh, you know, I guess guard duty operation uh, mm -hmm. in the Judea region, and it involved being uh, wearing a bulletproof vest, which I think would weigh uh, 40 pounds, about eight to 10 hours a day. So besides for the weight aspect, um, I just, it, it also constricts, you know, it restricts your movement, um, which was, you know, very challenging. And I remember, you know, out like two in the morning in the cold, I'm like, in a few months, I'm going to see Dr. Binder. <laughs> um, so, and then yeah. la lately, you've been you've been flying a lot. Yeah, my because we were supposed to get together like two weeks ago, right? Right. My, my the thing is, my my mother came here a couple weeks ago because her her mother, my grandmother, uh, wasn't doing well uh, medically speaking. On some level, she thought that you know she would come back, go back to Israel with a coffin, and she came here. My grandmother actually got better. Um, you know, she surprised us. So you know, she came home. You know, the hospital released her, and just uh, we. And then we got a call that my my grandfather, my father's side, um, was in the hospital. And a few hours later, he passed away. My father took care of him for I think three months non-stop he, he didn't even leave the house and I also helped him part of the time um, so you know it was a blow and we came so at the time my father my mother two brothers of mine and I were all here in the States we flew back um, for the funeral we almost didn't make it It was a crazy story um, but you know thank God we make it we made it and um, you know, in, in, in Judaism, there's a week of mourning, uh, first seven days, every day, family, friends, and family members come, you know, they convey their condolences, basically, you know, in order to not allow the mourning, people mourning to be alone. Mm -hmm. And the day after the seven, you know, the, the week ended, the day after my mom got a call about my grandmother and that she's in the hospital and, you know, she doesn't have long. She was on life support, um, and basically they were just waiting for us to arrive, to say goodbye, and to pull the plug. Um, so my mother and I flew back. Uh, we arrived last Friday, went straight, took an Uber to the hospital, and, um, you know, just spent some time with her. And, you know, the only, like, you know, the machines were just keeping her breathing. She was already, she had a stroke, she was already brain dead. Uh -huh. So we, uh said our goodbyes and pulled the plug and about half an hour hour later she was you know not with us anymore wow uh yeah so though you know as, and now we you know there's another week of mourning that we're doing now um and my grandfather's 82 um and we knew that you know too much family you know all you know from the morning to the evening is, won't be good for him mm -hmm. um so we you know, we said, we told the family and friends to come only from three to six every day. And then yesterday he said he started not feeling well. And today, actually right now he's in the hospital. Uh, I think he had some sort of mini stroke. Uh, because, you know, all these people are suddenly coming, you know, grandkids and all that are just a lot for him. Mm. So, you know, hopefully he'll be okay. I, I got the call, I got the message on my way here, so. Yeah, so it was, it was uh, an interesting month, <laughs> to yeah. say the least. Lots of big things. Yeah.
lots of major aspects, important milestones in life that are, are here for us all to go through. They definitely have an effect. There is a tension involved. Not only the tension of all the travel, you know, that's physical, being emotional with loved ones and, and losing that physical pre pre presence. Yep. And then there's a deep psychological, deep metaphysical aspect of, of mourning death, which is facing your own mortality. Yep. And at some point you also realize that, you know, your parents aren't invincible, you know. Forget about your grandparents, but you know, that you, you need to be there for them in ways that you couldn't as a kid. Mm, you know? Yeah, it's the, it's the reverse. It's when you, when the child starts to take up the, the duty of, of caretaker. Yeah. And uh, after all the years of practice, I have to say that there's, there isn't anything that's more challenging for a human being that I've seen uh, more so than taking care of a dying parent. Yep. The amount of energy, the amount of mental, physical, spiritual energy that goes into it is astounding. And it's the least we can do, you know, after everything our parents did for us. That's right. Big stuff. All right. Um, how's your back feel today? Where are you tight at? Right here? Uh, yeah, upper and mid back, but I also say with my lower back, uh, at the funeral, um, we you know, we covered the, the coffin with, uh, you know, dirt. And um, in Israel, because there's so many people, you know, there, there was always, you know, you, you know, do a couple shovelfuls and then you get hand off the shovel to someone else. My brother and I basically just, it took us like half an hour to fill the hole. Um, so my, the right, my right lower back is, has been very painful for the past uh, couple of days. It's gotten a bit better. Okay, good. Uh, but yeah, it's mainly my upper and mid back. Okay. Like I feel like I, I for the past couple months I feel like I cannot stand or sit straight, and it takes an effort to do so, and I can't I can't keep it up for more than a few minutes, okay. even when I sleep. All right, let's do this. Put your hands on your hips. Let's loosen this stuff up here. Go ahead, put, go ahead and push your elbow back against me here. Good. Right side push. That's good. That's good. I gotta the shoulders relax. Bring your chin down to your chest. Good. We're gonna lean forward just a little bit like this. Good. Now let's bring this one over here. Good. Let that relax. Good. I was wondering how that felt like. <laughs> Alright, let's check out the leg length first. Good. I just ripped my pants. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no shots from the back. Jesus. Oh my god, they're still ripping. <laughs> oh my god. I think you don't have a spare pair over here. I don't. Alright, I'm gonna pull the uh good. Left one here, good. Alright, let's loosen up these muscles here.
Pressure okay? Yeah, it's great. Gentle breathing. Okay, hey, sir, are you ready to get your back racked? Uh, more than ever, waiting months. <laughs> All right, we're gonna start right in the middle, gentle. We don't have to push hard if I can remember. Your spine adjusts really nicely. Good. Good, sink again. Huh.
All right, let's try this one. Go ahead and take a deep breath in. Good, and out. Oh, perfect. That's why I was like, we should do a video. Because <laughs> your cracks are super loud and you look like Jean-Claude Van Damme. <laughs> Uh, I don't know how glad they were now. I don't know how. Oh, that's okay. Microphone picks up everything. Uh, and by the way, it's funny you say that I look like uh, Van Damme because Van Damme actually reminds me of my father's uncle, my great uncle, who is actually Israel's Mr. Olympia. So it's, it's funny. <laughs> Wait, your father's great uncle? <laughs> my my great uncle, my oh, father's you, uncle. Okay, your great uncle was Mr. Olympia in Israel Olympia. for two years in a row. Wow. Yeah, I mean. And he's the strongest person I know. He, I remember him crushing, crushing a Coca-Cola can with two fingers when I was five. <laughs> like Van Damme sort of looks like my family. Uh, Maybe he is. <laughs> well, if you're out there... Actually, Jean-Claude Van Damme watches these videos. I don't know really? comments sometimes. <laughs> All right, let's adjust this left SI joint first. Oh, okay, deep breath in through your nose. Good, end out. Good, just let the shoulders sink, hips sink. Good, good. Wow. <laughs> oh. It's a machine gun. Oh, God. When I, in bed, I many times try to, you know, crack my lower back. Uh, sort of how you do it, but there's no comparing. All right, we're gonna do this SI joint here on the right. Good, shoulders sinking, bring it down. Okay, nice and gentle, breathing in. And out. Good, shoulders relax, sinking in, good. Good. Hey, back, that's good. Bye. I fell out, out of alignment for so long, I'm feeling like my my body's <laughs> starting to realign. Good. Long last. Oh, okay, let's do this. Turn your head to the right. Center, left, center. Left one is the sh you have a left short leg. But every but it's within normal limits. Right. It has to be over 14 millimeters to be considered an anatomical leg length difference, which means like you have a femur or a tibia that is actually longer than the one on the other side. Right. But there's the functional leg length difference, and that is when, uh, that's when muscles can tighten up on one side versus the other and make the leg appear short. But it's not measurably short. Mm-hmm. I remember after you adjusted me uh, two and a half years ago, mm -hmm. and then you just you know, pulled my leg. Um, I at that moment I actually felt like my for the first time in my I think in my life that my legs were actually the same, like they were even. It's awesome. All right, okay, we're gonna do the right side first. So we're gonna do Atlas on the right. Good, nice and gentle, just sinking in. We're gonna give this a little push in this direction. Good, you're doing good. We're gonna do a soft breath. Good, and then just like letting it all go. 
Okay, shoulders relax. That's the one area on my body where I say, I, like, I, there's no way on earth I'm ever going to crack, self-crack it. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people do, but I, I don't. Yeah, you have to have a certain uh, ligament laxity, and some people will just have it. Some people can just do it. I can't even crack my own neck. I, I crack necks all day long. You can't do it. You can't, I can't do it. Sometimes when I'm like, if I like just wake up in the morning, but I'm still half asleep, I have just enough that I can. It's only happened like three times. <laughs> oh. And I've been on my neck and like trying to crack it a bunch of times and now it doesn't work. I do better with just like the Arthur stim and stretching. Really, it only takes like 10 minutes, Omri. Just like 10 minutes of stretching and you're golden. I gotta come out with the 10 minute stretch video. I'm working mm. on it. I'll definitely watch that. <laughs> All right, now let's see the left side here. Just sinking in, let the shoulders sink. Uh, right here in the middle, let's see, seven, six, five, four, all right there at the four. Good, coming underneath, good, let's see, head and shoulders relaxing, good. Hi. All right, I'm gonna crack your toes now. Nice gentle pull here. Sink again. I've been trying to get that. I don't know how long. <laughs> Good. Arms back to there. All right, sir. Did I have this last time? No. You had the green one and you said that you wanted to. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. You're planning on getting it. No, it was still green. It's still in the other room. It's black now. All right, here we go. Nice and gentle breathing. We're going to follow the breath out, Omri, as you breathe out. And then from there, we'll pull in that direction like that. Let's give it a try here. We'll go deep breath in and out. Very nice. Yeah. Still good. Feel it all the way down? I felt it in my neck. Did you feel it in the low back at all? No, I don't think I did. We gotta do it again. That's good. Okay, one more time. That was a good job last time. Good breathing. Same thing here. We're gonna follow that breath out, pulling in this direction as you sink in. Shoulders and hips sinking in. Oh, now I felt it. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, no, I definitely felt it. All those weeks of playing the bulletproof vest literally just disappeared with this adjustment. That's awesome. Oh. Squeeze your shoulder blades back together. Go look up at the ceiling. Good. Alright, is there anything else you want me to work on or look at? Um, no, not that I can think of right now. <laughs> I feel great. Cool. It was worth a two and a half hour drive here. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, it was a thank pleasure you. once again. And thank yeah, you for fitting you me in. Yeah. You know, something I always say, that I told Aaron as well, despite all the, you know, the crazy month I've had, it's, you know, if there's one positive thing that came out of all of this was
coming here today. Awesome, man. I appreciate that a lot. Yeah, because you've been through a lot. It's important times. Yeah. It's, yeah. Stop and feel it. You know what I mean? It's just really good to really to feel what it's like to go through these transformations and these transitions. Yeah, it's... That's why we're here. I need you to look at the back of my pants. Can you tell? It's not that bad. It's not that bad? It's not that bad. All right, good. So let's look at my face and see what you Hey, how's it going?